I'm here to provide an update uh, for what you are well aware is an active shooter that occurred in the Oregon district in the early morning hours of today. A little bit of a timeline. Uh, today at 1.05 a.m. officers were patrolling the Oregon district during bar closing time and heard gunfire. Uh, they observed a large crowd running away from this gunfire. The officers immediately advanced toward the gunfire and within approximately 20 seconds they engaged a suspect who was actively firing and attempting to enter a crowded liquor establishment. Threat was neutralized when approximately 30 seconds of the suspect firing his first shots. You will now hear a, one of the 911 calls we received. I don't really know, it's right outside, uh, over the wall. Okay, right outside. One gun, one man, and a man, multiple guns. Right outside, give us that new gun. Someone got shot there? I don't know if there was shot, you're shooting in the air, people are running and screaming. Active shooter outside the gun. Get a man, take a shot. Don't panic, 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 White male, white male. I could not tell you in the back. We ran inside. We're going to get in the door. You're inside the wall, correct? Currently, I'm inside. What, what about it? Is it Nukem? Yeah, we're inside Nukem. He was right outside Nukem. Okay, I got the call on, okay? Just stay on the phone. Thank you so much. Are you at Nukem? Thank you so much. We're in New Kim's Tavern, downtown Bay Area, active shooter, adult male, about 5, 8, 5, 6, 1, I don't know. Now, you will see uh, the video. Okay, I'm going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on the phone. Okay, we're going to ask you to stay on Suspect has been identified as a Connor Stephen Betts. He has a minimal criminal history as an adult. His traffic violations, speed, failure to control, and failure to yield. He was wearing a mask, a bulletproof vest, and hearing protection. He was armed with a .223 caliber like rifle with 100 round drum magazines. He is uh, 24 years of age and he is deceased. Fatalities from this 
assault include Lois Oglesby, a black female, 27 years of age, Megan Betts, white female, 22 years of age. She is the suspect's sister. Saeed Saleh, who is a black male, 38 years of age. Derek Fudge, black male, 57 years of age. Logan Turner, white male, 30 years of age. Nicholas Coomer, white male, 27 years of age. Thomas McNichols, black male, 25 years of age. Beatrice Curtis, black female, 36 years of age. Monica Brickhouse, black female, 39 years of age. In addition, there are 27 confirmed victims who were injured and were transferred or transported to local hospitals for treatment. Basic overview of this scene, of this entire incident, uh, is now on your screen. In the lower left-hand corner, you see a square. That is the approximate location of the suspect's vehicle you know, that was parked, um, and then the suspect left and then uh, went on to commit this assault. The rectangular area toward the, the right side and more center of the uh, diagram is where the suspect fires his first shots and killed his first victim. He then enters onto Fifth Street, and then there are eight other victims killed by the suspect before he is fatally struck at the entrance to Ned Peppers, which is where the circle uh, designates. This is just the suspect's initial route. So you saw that square um, block or box that was on the screen, say where he fired his initial shots. This is that area uh, illuminated in the daytime here. And that red arrow is the pathway he took to get to Fifth Street. 